because we go out on a date because this is cute. But then you take your hat off and you got a head shake like a popcorn bucket. I will not. Hello, my beautiful people. Welcome to my channel. Today we are going to be discussing online dating tips and when to send him to the left. So, I have been dallying in online dating for about four years, and there are a lot of things that I've learned the hard way. <laughs> so, I wanted to share those things with you so maybe I can save you the learning curve and going out on these super whack dates, and you can kind of just jump ahead and get you some good dates out of this so that you know when to swipe left because these men can trick you, girl. So, I've got some tips for guys too if you want to stick around. Um, but this is mostly for my ladies, for you if you're brand new to online dating and you just don't know what to do because it can be a little overwhelming. So, let's jump right in. Okay, so first ladies, let's start with your profile picture. This is the most important part of the online experience because this is your introduction to the guy. Because let's be honest, they ain't looking at what you wrote, okay? They looking at your face and your body. So, tip number one. Do not put pictures with a bunch of your girlfriends, not even one of them. All of your profile pictures should just be you and your beautiful self. Why, do you ask? Well, let me just tell you. <laughs> Let's say your homegirl is just as hot or harder than you, which is probably why you hang out with her, right? Because y'all are both cute. <laughs> Anyways, don't give a distraction to you. Because this goes for guys as well. I'm swiping through the pictures and I'm like, ooh, he fine. But then you keep swiping and you realize the friend is the fine one and it's not the one whose profile it is. And then you're disappointed. You're like, dang it. So just leave your friend out. Put just you in there. And so then he's not wondering like, ooh, I hope it's the second one in the purple dress because she cute. But it's actually you in the yellow dress and you're not as cute to him. So just leave all of that out and only put yourself in there. Okay? Tip number two for profile pictures. Don't just do the close-up neck shots. Like, back the camera up, get you a good selfie, or have some of your friends take the pictures of you. And then always throw in a full body. So have a couple of pictures with your face, maybe like from the chest up, and have at least two full body pictures. Don't have them all be from the neck up. That's a tip for my fellas, so I'll save that why later but get you a good headshot get you a good body shot and ladies some of us have large foreheads five heads whatever mine is kind of big i feel you so don't have that picture where it's just your head in the shot because that's not cute okay angle that sucker just right so you can hide your forehead five head whatever it is just don't put your five head picture as a profile pic okay just no let's not do that okay on to tip number Three, for profile pictures. Can, let's not take a bunch of pictures in the same location where it looks like, hey, you decided to jump on online dating, you're in your bathroom because you get good light, so you're just gonna take six shots in the bathroom and then post all six of them. Let's show people that you have a life, because let's be honest, ladies, you have 85 trillion photos in your phone doing different activities with you, yourself, your homegirls, whatever. So let's give a variety so he can see that you like different activities. You trying to paddle board, you playing with a dog, because most people love dogs. Like whatever it is, just give him some variety, something to look at, okay? Don't just have selfie, 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 selfie. Let it be obvious that you went somewhere and someone else took your picture of you looking cute, okay? So those are the tips on profile pictures. Next. On to the exciting part. When to send him to the left. The left, to the left. Okay. <sighs> gentlemen, 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 we must work on your pictures. I don't understand why some of y'all even pick some of these pics, choose some of these pics, thinking that this is going to attract a female. Okay, so if the guy has every single one of his pictures are like this, with sunglasses on, that's the automatic swipe, left. Do you think I can see your face with sunglasses on? So many guys in a majority of their photos all have on sunglasses. I don't know what you look like. I can't see your face. I see your chin 
and maybe your lips if you have any. But I can't see your face. Why would I blindly swipe right on you when you have on shades and all of your pictures? No, boo. No. So that's my automatic lip. Gone. Bye-bye. Okay? Then let's build on that, right? So on top of the shades, of often you will find they have on sunglasses and a hat. So then you really can't see what they look like. Now, if you think that I'm going to swipe on you when I can't see any of your head, that's a no. Even if you don't have on sunglasses, but you have on a hat in every picture, that's an automatic lift. I will not be hat fished, okay? Because we go out on a date because this is cute. But then you take your hat off and you got a head shake like a popcorn bucket. I will not, okay? That's an automatic lift. Sunglasses, left. Hat alone, left. Hat and sunglasses, Ooh. oh no boo, I think not. What? To the left. On to the next one. Uh, now I see this a lot more with guys' profiles than I have seen on some girls' profiles. Why do y'all like taking pictures with 50 guys? I'm not about to play Where's Waldo with you, okay? And that's your first pick. And I'm like, the frick? I don't have that kind of time. And then you swipe the next one. Instead of 10, it's 9. The third one is 8. And you just like pyramid down. And you're like, surprise, I'm at the end. And I'm just like, I don't know. Because I've seen so many men. I can't tell the difference. So if you have a bunch of pictures or even several of your pictures, especially if they're the first ones I come to, where it's you and a group of men and I have no idea which one you are, that's an automatic swipe lift. I don't have time, like I said, to be like, well, maybe it's, he looks, and then swiping back and forth like, I think it's him. I'm not sure because his nose look kind of different in this picture than this picture. I'm not doing it. So, group shots. <laughs> and then don't have a group shot, and then the next two be you in sunglasses. <laughs> oh, y'all a mess, boy, I tell you. <laughs> Okay. Next reason to swipe a lip. If this guy has a bunch of selfies in his car, for me, that's an automatic lift. Cause I'm like, do you do anything in life? Do you just spend most of your time in the car? Like you don't have friends or activities? Just It's just you with selfies with your seatbelt across you? I mean, I get it. Cause you get good lighting in the car, right? I've got a few car selfies. But I don't use those as profile pictures. So if all of your photos are you in the car or your bathroom, for me, that's automatic lift. Because I'm just like, you didn't even try. You were like, woke up on your way to work in traffic and was like, oh, I think I'll join Bumble today. And then you were like, quack, 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 and you pop five selfies of you while you're driving to work. Like that's, nah, that's a left boo. I'm sorry. Next reason to send him to the left, face tattoos. So you don't want a professional job at all when you got always tired under your eyeballs. Yes, I'm talking about you, Post Malone. Why you thought that was a good idea, I don't know. But you're like, hey, I don't have to have a blue collar job. I'm a rapper. If you want to be a rapper, then fine. But if you think you're going to be able to be anybody's businessman, with a tattoo on your eyeballs. No, sir. That's an automatic lift. I can't. Mm -mm. Swipe. Any man that takes a picture with a cat, I can't. I don't really need to explain that, do I? Oh, this one, y'all, gets me every time. <laughs> if your first picture, honestly, any of them, any of your pictures, is you with your shirt off and you trying to show your V, that is an automatic lift. Reason being, first of all, the majority of y'all, of the guys' pictures, you don't even have abs. Like, what are you showing me? Your bill belly? Like, no. <laughs> you need to put your shirt on, go work out, do some couple, couple crunches, change your diet up a little bit, and then we'll talk. <laughs> but for me, if you're leading with that, this here's my body, let's say you got a 12-pack. And you look fabulous. Your pecs are full. Your traps are popping. Shoulders are nice. Delts are cut up. Sorry, I may have went too far. <laughs> it's my bodybuilding life talking. If you have a nice aesthetic physique, 
but that's your first photo like that to me screams let's bang because I want you to see that this is my body this is kind of all I'm working with I have no personality I just want you to see my abs mm, so you don't want me to know you for your personality or what I can kind of gain about you from your picture you just want me to see body 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 and that's automatically where you want mine to go so to me that says where your mind is as far as what you want out of this so if that's what you are looking for as a female then maybe those shirtless pics are for you but if you're looking for something a little more meaningful to come out of your online dating experience I don't know think twice before you swipe right on the homie with the six-pack or the no-pack <laughs> whatever you might be or not be working with. This kind of is a dual thing. It's like tips for the guys, but also a reason to swipe left. If this man has a bunch of pictures with another woman and he doesn't imply very distinctly that that is a sister, that's an automatic left. Honestly, I don't know why you would even post a picture with you and another female. It just isn't smart. Even if it's obviously your grandmama or your mama, okay. But if there's any question at all as to who this chick is, I don't feel like figuring it out. So, left. So, gentlemen, just revert to my first advice for the ladies when they make the profile picture and do one by yourself. Don't put your sister, your best friend, your ex-wife, ex-girlfriend. Let's not do that, okay? And next, on to that next point. Um... When you post pictures with babies, like for the females that aren't interested in dating men with children, yes, they're cute. Oh, it's you and your nephew or whatever. But do we know that? Because you didn't imply that it was your nephew. So then we're left to wonder, is that your kid? Is it somebody else's kid? What's going on? So unless you can put in big bold letters, nephew, <laughs> just don't put pictures of you and the baby. Leave that out. Choose a dog instead. A cute little stuffed animal. We don't have to question that. We know that's not your kid. No kids, no women, okay? Those are lefts. On to the profile section. These are things that make me swipe left when I see your blurb, your little self blurb. If you can't write out a full word or your grammar is just whack, I can't do anything with you. Like if you're too lazy to write you, Y-O-U, and you just put the letter U, or like it's literally a sentence with one letter words I'm like no I can't I'm not even sure what's going on here also I hate the whole disclaimer thing like you're online it's deal with it it's it's not anything to be ashamed of okay the struggle is real so if you choose to online date to find your next person that you want to do whatever with it's cool, but this whole disclaimer of I'm only on here because Grandma Lily Bell keeps asking me when I'm going to have children. So I figured I'd try this, but don't judge me. Oh, that ish. You online, boo. You trying to find your boo. Don't be scared or ashamed. I don't need your disclaimer or you telling people we're going to tell people we met in the grocery store. No, boo. I'm going to tell people I met you on Bumble. I'm not going to lie. Girl, I saw that fool on Bumble. He was cute, and all his pictures were just right, so he got a swipe. And now we're dating. I'm not about to lie about that. Who meets people in the grocery store anyway? I've never even seen anybody cute in the grocery store. Ladies, tell me, if you have a grocery store where you have a plethora of hotties, let me know where it is, because I clearly need to change locations. This next section is tips for my fellas. If you actually watch this whole video, you can actually take all of those things as tips. Because if I'm telling you we swipe left on, left on those pictures, if you do the opposite, those are tips for you. <laughs> but as far as when you're a guy looking at a female's pictures, some of the same things apply. Sunglasses, the big group shots. But if she does typically have a bunch of pictures where it is just her from the neck up, she hitting them angles and you're like, oh, she cute, but she's not showing anything else. There may be a reason for that. Maybe she's a little thick and she doesn't want you to know. Ain't nothing wrong with being thick, you know. Big girls need love too. But if she's like truly trying to hide that, then you go out because you're thinking her face is cute. I mean, I've just heard this story a lot where they're like, her face was cute. I go out and she's like 800 pounds. So typically, if a girl is trying to avoid you seeing her full body, you will check and you will find that all of her pictures are from the neck up. Maybe a reason for you to do a little more fishing if you want to ask her about that. Or 
it could be an automatic lift for you. So that's why I'm telling you, ladies, always give them a full body pick. If you're a little bit thicker, own that crap, work your ankles, okay? And give them something else because if you're only showing your face, that's to me says you're hiding something. It's the same thing with a guy. Also another reason to swipe left. If he's only showing himself from the neck up, it's like, do you have a body? Like, or are you just a head? So that's a left. So same thing for my ladies. Show the body. Guys, if she's only showing her neck and then everything up, you might want to be like, nah, bruh, this may not be the girl for me. And this one's for my brothers because I don't really see white boys or any other race doing this. Y'all always got to have a picture posted up in front of a car that's probably not even yours. So why do y'all do that? Like, that's not cute. Like, no woman's going to be like, ooh, girl, he was posted in front of this car, but I can't even tell what kind of car it was because he was blocking the uh, the emblem or whatever. But I'm going to say maybe it was like a BMW or something. Yes, girl, I'm going to swipe on him because he was in front of a car. Nobody does that. Or let's switch it up. Oh, my God, girl, he was, like, sitting in front of this car, and I was like, yes, that's my dream car. I don't even know what he looked like because he had on a hat and sunglasses. But just because he was sitting in front of the car, that was, like, an automatic rate for me. Do you want me to do the Latina too? I mean, I can do it all. But I'm saying, the picture in front of the car, why? So many of y'all do that. Like, literally, probably every black dude has at least that picture in front of a vehicle. Maybe that works for some girls, where they're like, ooh. But, I mean, no. Why? Why? Or you in the club with a drink, which you'll do some. No. Do you play outside? Do you have any other activities? Or is it just you in front of the car, in the club with a drink, and the car selfie? That's like typically a black man's profile. Those three pictures are definitely there. Car selfie, bathroom selfie, car, in front of the car, and the club. Let's get some variety, guys. Thanks. So those are kind of all the tips that I have, but I will say that there are a couple of sites that I like more than others. Um, Tinder was like the first one I was introduced to and that was like years, years ago. Tinder has changed a lot since it first came out so that is personally not one I would recommend unless you're looking for a booty call and by that, have fun, you know what I'm saying? But uh, for me, my top two I guess would be Hinge and Bumble. So um, Hinge is probably my favorite. It's kind of been my go-to for the last couple years. I double dabbled in Bumble for a little bit earlier this year, but then kind of went back to Hinge. Hinge is not super well known. I don't know if they just don't market as much, but um, if you haven't heard of it, try it out. See how you like it. And then also if you've never done Bumble, those are that's the kind of the other one that I liked. Tinder is like not. I'm not a Tinderer. I'm not a Tinderer. I'm a Tinderoni, <laughs> but I don't do Tinder. Okay. <laughs> So those are my top ones. Try it out. See what you think. All right, ladies, and maybe some gents that stuck around. Those are all the tips that I have for you today on when to swipe left. So hopefully you found that helpful, and maybe it's a good guide as you delve into this new world of online dating. Enjoy. Thanks for stopping by. As always, like, subscribe. You know what I'm saying? Help your girl out. Support. And I have something very interesting coming up next, so stay tuned.